Squid, I want to see you. Okay, boys. Give a look at Mahaffey, will you? Hello, Mahaffey. Irish King. Right on the job, huh? Yeah, I gotta find a home for him. Vagrancy? Vagrancy. No home and no money. No money? Can't arrest a man with 50 bucks on him, can you? Why, that practically makes him a millionaire. <laughs> Influential citizen. I'll bet you even know where he lives. Why, certainly. He lives at the Ritz. <laughs> hey, it's lucky for you I came along, old man. Well, there goes your pinch, my happy. Now, what does that make me? Look, find a cab, will you, and take him to the Ritz? Or maybe the YMCA. Yeah, you better make it the Y. I wouldn't want his friends at the Ritz to see him like that. Sure. He's an old friend of mine. <laughs> yes, the big-hearted boy. <laughs> Let me call the wedding for you. Oh, I'll take care of this. Hey, Cap. I've got a sick lad here, and I want you to take him down to the... But I got a fare already. There's a lady in here. What's the matter, Robert? They got a sick man there. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, let me out. Let me out, I know him. Holy. 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 Oh, Mr. Hedrick, help me. Boy, he, he's going to be all right, lady. I'll get a doctor. He gets these pills sometimes. Yeah, but, but he's... I've done it for years. Oh, but he's all right, Holy. right? Thank you, officer. All right, ma'am. Can you beat that? The Ritz, huh? Anything for me, Martin? Two gentlemen to see you, sir. And the telegram. Chief. Mike Moran lost his second load coming across the river. He's through. Take care of that. Okay. Bernie Weber's in there. Bernie Weber, huh? Got time to see him now? Is, uh, is the rat in from Chicago? You said they have him here today, didn't you? He's here. Both in there together, huh? Let's go, then.
float, Mel. Gus, would you leave a town like New York to go out to Chicago? I wouldn't be sap enough to do it. Well, you know, I know one mastermind who thought it was a great idea. Oh, yeah. But he was a mastermind. No, it's funny how some people can leave all their friends behind, isn't it? Especially to go to Chicago. Is he still out there? Oh, no. His friends persuaded him to come back. Don't give me up, Mel. Well, if it isn't a rat. They're getting thin, rat. Chicago picks it off your bones, doesn't it? Don't give me up, Mel. Don't turn me over to the bulls. Don't give you up. I've got five grand sunk on you, $5,000 bail. How am I going to get it if I don't give you up? I'll give it back to you. I'll get it. Yeah? Where? I must have been crazy to jump bail that you put up for me. But, gee, I figured I'd get to Chicago, and then I'd send the dope back to you. Oh, that's the way you figured, huh? Yeah. I put up bail for you, and you ran out on me. Left me holding the sack. That's something nobody's ever done and got away with yet. I'll get the five grand for you, so help me, Mel. Don't send me away. I'm sick. I'll die if you send me up the river, Mel. Hey, come on. Hold this and talk, Mel. Don't send me away. Please don't send me Hello, Bernie. Hello, Mel. Nice tie you got, Bernie. Well, sir, that's a very good imitation. But it's just an imitation. Listen, lay off that bank job you're framing. Listen, Mel, that's my job. I cooked it up. It's my own job. Yep, Miss Bernie. Your mop's been running mad for a whole year now. I passed out the word to all of you to cut that kind of work till things quieted down. I passed it out to all of you. Maybe you didn't hear me. I'm telling you now. Play off. Now get up. Ellen Keene speaking. Oh, hello, Commissioner. What, from right in front of police headquarters? Why, you're kidding, Commissioner. Oh, yes, but you know, I'm in the brokerage business. I don't know anything about stolen cars. Oh, well, certainly, if I hear of anything, uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. A blue packet, huh? Sure. And listen, Commissioner, I'm sorry. Sure, Commissioner. Some mope rolled the Commissioner's car right off his front lot. What do you think of that, Squid? Get on the phone, Squid, and find out who did it. What'll I tell him to do with it? I'll tell him to roll it over to Brooklyn and park it in front of a precinct station where some flat foot will fall over it. Okay. And squid. Yeah. Tell him to anchor it in front of a fire plug. You said it. A fire plug. Now, Gus, you can come upstairs and give me a rubdown. Are we stepping out tonight? 
Right on Fifth Avenue tonight. Tombstone fronts and everything. Hello. Give me Slim. Slim? That boy Slim is just naturally a great author. Hello, Slim? This is Squid. Now get this straight. That blue package you knocked off this afternoon has got to be thrown back. PDQ. What? No alibis. Get that? I do hope you lose all your money, Jack. I probably will. I worked out a perfect system for losing. Well, this is the third chance you've had to lose for a good cause. It's for the orphans, you know. Harry, I don't know what you'll do with the supply of orphans over there now. Well, we just have to import some new husbands, darling. Excuse me. Oh, now I understand where this layout comes from. Malin Keene. Who? Malin Keene. Where? There. So that's Malin Keene. None other? Well, lead me to it. If this party is a success, we'll owe it all to you. Thank you. If I've been of any help, I'm glad. Oh, Mr. Keene, Miss Chapman, and Miss Roker. How do you do? How do you do? You're not really Malin King. Not really. Well, the way you say that, I'd be flattered just to be taken for him. Oh, Lily, your parents are looking for someone to play poker with, and perhaps you could persuade Mr. Keene to join them. Well, would you? Well, certainly, I'd be glad to. Come on. My system is working already. How much? Sixty-five cents. Thanks. And my father. How do you do? How do you do? The best family I ever had. Sit down, Millie. <laughs> Mr. Keene, do you play poker? Well, I've seen it played. Mr. Keene, why don't you bank the game? It would be so much better for the orphans. Oh, yes. All right. How many chips do you want? Oh, give us each a couple of things. to let me in or not. I think in all the years he's opened the door for me, this is the first time I've ever seen him not quite master of the situation. I am glad you came. Really, Carrie? Yes. I've missed you, Rhoda. You're probably the only one. That's little Millie Chapman, isn't it? Yes. How she's grown. So many new faces. Don't you want to play? You were always very good at roulette, Rhoda. Oh, I don't know. Come along. All right. Look here. From 
my word, Rhoda Philbrook. Rhoda Philbrook? Here? Where? Oh, doesn't she look stunning? That complexion. And when you think of what she's been through. I mean, when you really stop and think. You mean when you think what her husband went through? Two, please. Three. Three. And the men before she finally married poor Dan Philbrook. I was one of them, one of the befores, and I'm none the worse for wear. You men, how could a woman ever keep decent with the attitude you all take? I'll bet five dollars. Well, after all, Rhoda has been her own worst enemy. I'll raise you five. She left her husband, it ruined his life, and she went off with that mad musician. Do you find any defense for that? She paid for it. I hear that she's been practically penniless since he left her. Well, I think she's the bravest woman I ever heard of. You leave sometimes I think I've given birth to a moral. <laughs> In spite of which I'll need more chips. Well, are we playing or what? But she loved that musician. Going off with him when she knew her husband would divorce her and leave her without a cent. That's what I call romantic. Jack. Yeah. Bring her over here. Sure. That's number two. Jack. I'm awfully pleased to see you. It's good to see you. We're playing poker over there. Wouldn't you like to come and sit in? You always were nice, Jack. Come on. Pardon me, Kelly. Certainly. Do you care to play? Not now, thanks. Pardon me. Rhoda, this is Malan Keene, uh, Mrs. Philbrook. How do you do? Mr. Keene. Hello, Rhoda. Hello, Sam. How have you been, Margaret? Very well, thank you. May I call you, Rhoda? I want you so much. I've always wanted to learn. You're a darling. Well, let's get started. Does the banker have any favorites, Mr. Keene? You never can tell. How many chips do you want? Fifty dollars worth, please. And that's all I have to play with tonight. I feel terribly sorry for those orphans of carriers, Mr. Keene. But if I lose, you may have another orphan on your hands. And a very charming one. I'll open for ten dollars. How many, Mrs. Fulbrook? I'll stand pat. Good for you. Whenever I draw a pen hand, it seems like a miracle. If I lose everything, Rhoda, will you be my, my good Samaritan? Can you picture me as a good Samaritan? Why, easily. You forget your Sunday school. The good Samaritan puts the fallen man on his donkey. Well, that lets me out. Rhoda has no donkey. <laughs> but after all, wouldn't the modern good Samaritan use a taxi cab? I'll bet five dollars. He can raise you five. Hmm, that's ten, isn't it? I called. But Rhoda, you called. And you had a pot hand. I should have raised, I suppose. I had a flush. <laughs> yes. That's good. Good as gold, yeah. And here. Like a hand. I need reinforcements. 
I'll go and get them for you. Reporting, okay. Okay. And hey, tell the chief to send me down a wheelchair, will ya? That's all a guy can use on this beat. Yeah. All right. All right. in a minute. Oh, Mr. King. Well, my happy. I want to see you. Don't shoot any warrants at me. Keep them up. It's a hold up. Tickets again. Now, you cops are just naturally going to dance yourself to death. Ah, uh, it's a benefit this time. Jake Kaczynski got bumped off last week. Left a wife and four kids. Too bad. It was a nice lad. Buick Sedan goes with one of them. Thousand dollars? Gosh, Jake Swither can sure use that, all right. You're all right, my happy. I'd hate to have you pick me up in traffic sometime. Well, I might let you go first time. Speed. I'll tell her who sent this. Don't bother. I'll give these tickets to Gus. He'll have a great time at a policeman's ball. He likes cops. Hey, Squid. Well, how's she coming? All right. Okay. That's a swell bus, Squid. Hey, you working for the chief now, too? No. When I do, it'll be for something I ain't got. I don't need this. I got a thousand bucks. That's what they all say. I ain't a saying I got everything I want. For instance, from you, Squid. That chance you got getting anything out of me. Yeah? All right. Hey, you ain't got nothing on anybody. You're just a cop. The cops come by the gross in this town. And don't forget it. I ain't forgetting it. I, I'm just puzzling about you. Me? 
How's your memory, Squid? Why, what do you mean? You got a good memory? Well, good enough. That's good enough. Well, what about it? I wanted to hear, do you remember reading in the papers about an old flop house bum got bumped off a couple of months ago? You remember that, Squid? No. I don't remember. Seems like there was a crap game. Somebody leans on this old soaked head with a beer bottle. Papers was full of it at the time. Oh, that might have. You mean, uh, down on Doyle Street? Yeah, that might have. Sure. Sure. I remember reading about it in the papers. Yeah? What papers? <laughs> you know, I found the neck of that bottle and there was fingerprints on it. Well, even if you did find fingerprints on the bottle, what's that got to do with me? I'm just a telling you. Well, who cares about an old bum like that? What does it get me if I turn in the guy that done it? Am I right? I ain't a-talking. Yet. What's the idea of telling me, then? You just want to know how good your memory was, that's all. Someday I'm going to ask you a question. If your memory's good about what I want to know, my memory's going to be bad about that beer bottle. If your memory's bad, mine's going to be good. Darn good. All right. And what then? Then I'm going to find that beer bottle. Somebody's going to sit in the big chair up the river. For at least do 20 years making pinwheels. That's your swell hack. Ah, she's a honey. Sure be tough to have to quit a good job like this. Go up the river making pinwheels. I gotta hammer the old beat. So long, Squid. So long, my happy. Go to the Hayward Apartments, West 58th Street. Okay. No, Tony. Give me a drink. No. Well, then get my clothes. No, Tony. Well, I'll get them myself. Stop! Rhoda, don't bother about me anymore. It's too late. Be quiet, darling. You don't owe me anything. You're a fool wasting your time. If I had the courage, I'd have killed myself long ago. Stop, I can't stand it. Oh, dear. Ever since you went away, I looked for you. And now you must let me help you. You must. No. No. Oh, Tony, I can't bear to see you like this. No. You see, I love you, dear. When you're well and strong again, if you want me to, I'll go my way. But you must let me help you now. You must. Oh, why am I such a mess of things? Rhoda, get me a drink. No, Tony. Get me one drink. Tony, if you start, it'll be the same thing over again. Well, get me Revere, 3311. Just say it's Tony Vaughan. He'll know. Who is it, Tony? It's, uh, it's a doctor. Will you get him? I won't need a drink. He's taken care of me before. All right, Tony.
Hello, Revere 3311. Can you come to the Hayward apartments at once? Tony Vaughan. Yes, he said you'd know. Please, Harry. Apartment A. Who gave you this? Man down in the lobby. Yes? I want to see you. I can't see anyone now. But I want to talk to you. About this? I figured that was the only way I had after last night. And I want to see you again. Just a moment. what I'm going to say, we'll save time. I cheated last night because I needed money. You helped me. I'm grateful to you for that. But that's all. If that's clear to you, will you please go? I didn't come here for your thanks. There's nothing else I have to give you. But I think there are a few things I have to give you. Oh, you can't understand that a woman who would cheat for money might not care to do other things. Please. Well, what else then? When I saw how you acted last night, as your confederate, I suppose men like you do have confederates, Mr. Keene. Fair enough. I deserve that. But let's forget what I am. I've come to see you because I've spent the day thinking about you. You know who I am. You know how I live. I've met many women at card tables, but I've never met any just like you. Yes? Last night when you took that card... When I cheated. Oh, yes. You saw that I was slightly damaged then and had been put on the bargain counter. No. I saw that you had something more than any other woman in that room. Oh, please. Oh, now, please, let me finish. None of you still feel the same. You can send me away. You didn't have to tell me you cheated because you needed money. You don't have to tell me it's the first time you've cheated. Let's forget about that. Now, I've got money and it doesn't mean a thing to me. I can help you. And there are no strings tied to it. I want nothing from you. Understand that. Did you make a call for Tony Vaughan? Yes. Oh, hello, Mr. Keene. If I'd known you was here, I'd have brought something special. So this is why you needed money. Huh. It's funny I never thought of that. What do you mean? Who are you? Don't you know? No. I never saw her before. But she put in a call for Tony Vaughan and I answered it. Who are you? What is this? A game? I pedal White Rock and ginger ale. Whiskey and gin. Oh! Eddie, give me that. Tony! Give me. Tony, you must. Wait a minute. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, Eddie. Oh. Tony, Eddie. Bring it in here, Eddie. Bring it in here, Eddie. You. Oh, Tony. Are you hurt? Tony. The only way when I get like that. Well, that's your way. It's the only way. Miss Rhoda, Tony, are you hurt? He's not hurt. Leave us alone. It's Rhoda. Tony, darling. Does he mean that much to you? Oh, it's nothing to you. Well, I'll make it something. Will you please go? I want you to. No, you need help. And whether you like it or not, this time you're going to do as I say. Get out of here. And don't you ever let me hear of you selling this guy anything again. Hello, Dr. Jones? Yes, you can call him. It's Malin Keene. Hello, Doctor. Malin Keene talking. Can you come right over to uh, the Hayward Apartments, West 58th Street, Apartment A?
exploring. Wasn't it? Now I'll race you to the house. I suppose you think I can. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> what detained you? <laughs> oh, that's something I haven't done in, I'm afraid to remember, how many years. Not so many. I wouldn't feel like it now. It went for these lovely weeks out here. And now, if I haven't said it before, thanks for all you've done for Tony. You have said it. Every time I've looked at you, I've seen it in your eyes. <laughs> that's the Irish in you. <laughs> Listen to him play. That's the old Tony. Oh, but I'm nervous. I don't. Chief. Squid's back from town with the mail. He's got some telegrams, too. All right. Excuse me a minute. Tony. Yeah? Let me look at you. Those strings you brought me from town were all rotten. Tony, I'm going to cry. Huh? Why? Don't ask me why. Don't ever ask a woman why she wants to cry. Just let it. Yeah. Chief's got some bad news for you here. Tony, listen to this. Mr. Malin Keene, have arranged rental concert hall for violin recital. Send pictures of your man for publicity. Does he spell it Z-A-U-G-H-N or Z-A-U-G-H-A-N? Signed, Lake. Tony. Isn't that great? Just like Mal. What do you know? We're going back to town tomorrow. Right. Squid, get everything ready. Yes, sir. And Gus. From now on, I don't want to see Bernie Weber hanging around. Anywhere. Okay. Tony, I tell you, you've got to go through with this concert. Why, of course you will. It's all been arranged. Tony, what do you say? Mighty fine. I'll give you a run for your money. I know you will. Oh, Mel, I can't tell you. How, how I... 
Keen, I want to thank you again. After this concert, I'm going away, alone. When I hear Tony play like that, I realize he doesn't need me any longer. I guess I've lost my job. And what are you going to do? Oh, this and that. We're always taken care of somehow. I wish you'd let me help you. You don't know how tempting that offer is. Will you? No. I'll get along. But you need someone to take care of you. What if I asked you to marry me? Please. Oh, but Rhoda, you do like me just a little. Oh, I do. And you can make life an easy, simple thing. And I am tired. Oh, I wish I could say yes. Hello. Chilly outside? No, it's a marvelous night. Tell me, what were you playing before? Oh, Schubert. No, after that. Oh, this? Da da dee dum, da 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 dum. Yes, that's it. Something new? Yes. Got to have something new. I'm going on a concert tour. Concert tour? When did you decide to go? Oh, uh, a little while ago. Isn't it rather sudden? Well, I must get my public back. Of course. Of course, Tony, you're public. Tony. Mel just asked me to marry him. Why not? If you love him. Oh, Tony, could I make him happy? You could make any man happy. Kiss me good night. Good night.
What's wrong? Can I help? Take care of me. Rhoda. Rhoda. Very good taste, Mr. Keene. Just wait till she sees it. Notice the carving. Exquisite. The swell to the curve and the... It's a nice stone, too. Nice. Well, that's the finest stone I've ever seen in a ring, Mr. Keene. Come in. Oh, Rhoda, come in. I'm staying only a moment. Good day. Oh, oh, yes, good day. Thank you. I'm doing some shopping. I wish I could go with you. Indeed you'll not. I'll give you all the shopping you want in Paris. <laughs> Taxi. What's she carrying? Bernie Weber. You better go easy, and we'll pick him up some other time. He's here now, ain't he? Mix. There are too many dicks on this street. Forget it. Let him come up alongside. Easy. Easy. All right, step on it. Mel, couldn't you have them postpone the sailing from midnight to well, one o'clock? You've worked other miracles. I'm afraid we'll miss the end of Tony's recital tonight if you don't. Tony will just have to cut out one or two encores, that's all. Oh, by the way, you won't, uh, you won't mind if I'm not at the concert until later? But why? A lot of things to clean up. I want to be all in the clear. No loose ends to slap us in the face once we get aboard that boat tonight. Yes, now. But when do you think we'll get to the concert? Oh, I mean, I won't be there until later. You'll be there when it begins, of course. Why don't you get Tony to take you with him? Oh, I don't think... Oh, now, you'll want to say goodbye to Tony. I understand. I'd rather not, Mel. He'll be so nervous. You'll be just the medicine he needs. Tony Vaughn, please. then. And I'll see you later. Just goodbye. And now then, I have here... Come in. This home of mine has about as much privacy as the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> Orchids. All right, let's have them.
These were to be for tonight, but... That's sweet of you. Oh! Oh! What a pity! They're so beautiful. It's a shame this one spoiled. I hope they'll match your dress. Excuse me. I want to see Gus a minute. All right, Val. Well, we met Bernie Weber on the way. Just now? Yeah, in a taxi. Lucky I was carrying these flowers. Did he try to get you? No. He never saw us. Say, the taxi guy never even knew. Just kept rolling along. Didn't he swim? I wasn't looking. What do you mean, you wasn't looking? Why, I was driving, wasn't I? Oh, this guy. All right, all right. Go yeah. on. Yeah. You know, it was kind of funny. The way Bernie slid right down out of his seat. Cut that. Sure, Chief. Why couldn't you have waited? Bernie Weber didn't matter anymore. Well, Chief, you told us, didn't you? How was we to know? I told you to lay off. Yeah, you told me. Gus. Are you sure Bernie's... Yeah. He ain't around no more. All right. Let it ride. Anyway, it's okay. We made it clean. That right, Squid? That's right. Squid was there, too. Sure, Squid was there. He was driving. But I tell you, I didn't... Didn't what? What do you mean, you didn't? You was there, wasn't you? Say, you trying to alibi? You was there with me. See? Yeah, but I was driving. Why, you're right. All right. All right. Get up. All goodbyes, Sid. There weren't many. All out in the clear now, eh? All out in the clear. Just you and I now. Good girl. Walter, don't you want to go up and try the piano? All right. I'll call you when it's time. Do that, will you? When are you going to the boat? About 11 o'clock, I guess. Let me see. Beautiful. Your design? No, Mel. Tony, you're oh, letting me... Oh, don't. Don't leave me, don't. I'm sorry. I didn't think. I just couldn't help myself. Rhoda, I'll never bother you again. Tony! Darling. Darling. You love me. And you would have let me go away. Loving you. What have I to give you? What have you to give me? But now, what about him? 
What about us? This will hurt him. You don't know, Mal. This will hurt him desperately. I just can't tell him. But you can't go now. I'll tell him. No. I'll tell him. Tony, time to go up. All right. Tony. Tony. I said, 3434 reporting, okay. Okay. No, I ain't seen no five-year-old kid, and there ain't no nurse with him. No. When? Bernie Weber? Bernie Weber? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay, sure. All right, yeah. Coming. Not bad. Somebody going away? The chief. Country? No, to Europe. Oh, yeah. Friday night. Boat night. Mm hmm. Tonight. Doggone, it seems like everybody's going away. There's Keen going to Europe. Bernie Weber going to. Heard about him getting bumped off. Who, Bernie Weber? Yeah, this afternoon. Well, what do you know? That's the word, Squid. What do you know? Hey, Squid, how's your memory tonight? I'll lay off of that. You don't think I know anything about that, do you? You know, I told you that sometime I was going to ask you a question about something that I want to know. This is the time. I don't know anything about this thing, my happy. Honest, I don't. All right. If that's the way you feel about it, all right. Well, yeah, I'm telling you. If you know anything about this Weber killing, and Keen gets on that boat tonight and gets away, there's a big chair up the river that hasn't had anybody sitting in it for a month. Ah, you got me wrong. I don't know anything about that. So help me. So long, Squid. See you in church.
smell. Oh, you'll get used to it. I've just been saying it over and over to myself coming down. Mrs. Malin Keene. Listen, Mal. There's something I must tell you. Just save it till we get aboard the boat. Till that captain ties us both tight to the name of Keene. What? Please, now. Well, Mr. Keene, I... I can see you for a minute. Oh, yes. How are you, Mahaffey? You mind, dear? No. I'll be right with you. All right. Well, Copper, we've got the dope on that Weber killing. Yeah? Well, what about it? Well, I wouldn't have had that happen for anything. Oh, gee, gee. 